Alrighty, almost 8 in the morning. I'm leaving the village Kanjin Gompa. My plan for today is just to go down as far as possible, maybe Lama Hotel. Maybe if I have the legs and the, the knees, maybe I'll go down to Saya Brubesi. Not sure about this though, because it's like 30 kilometers of a way down, but anyway. Let's see where I'm gonna go. So, the kids from Kanjin Gompa <clears throat> are going down to probably the village of Langtang uh, for school and I'm following them. Again, I put the camera here on the shoulder strap because we've been on this way up <laughs> with me holding the selfie stick so now I can speed up down on the way down. My acclimatization actually went uh, pretty well. The first day I was feeling a bit dizzy, lightheaded, but then on the following days everything was good. So I believe I did a proper acclimatization. Uh, I spent three nights at 3850 vertical meters, went up to peak Tserkori, which is 4985, almost a 5000er. So, I guess I'm ready for my next adventure. Going back to Kathmandu, then I'll transfer to Pukhara, and hopefully, uh, in a week from now, I'll start the Annapurna circuit track. I'm very excited. I haven't been there, so that's gonna be a new for me. Uh, in total, I believe I spent this is my sixth day here in the Langtang Valley. Uh, most likely it's gonna take me seven days in total for the trek and the transfers. So, not bad. Pretty picturesque uh, valley. Nice people. Uh, very affordable lodges. So, I would say, <laughs> let's go down.
Premium фондът ми is the Hard Rock Cafe. I stopped on the way up and I'm not planning to stay on the to stop on the way down. It was very 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 expensive. They asked for like two dollars for a water with a little bit of ginger. So let them catch another fish. Carp season is off. <laughs> I believe this is a rescue mission. I don't think the hell is flying just to bring supplies. Probably somebody felt really sick from the altitude. I'm entering the small village of Sindum and from the start at Yanjin uh, Kompat it's been exactly one hour. The distance is four kilometers and a half and it involved climbing 60 vertical meters and down climbing 360. Wow, going down feels so much easier and I can go so much faster.
Alrighty, uh, I'm entering the small village of Mundo, which is uh, just half away, uh, half a kilometer down from uh, Sindum, and like 50 vertical meters. Uh, I'm planning just to go transit. Buddhist structures we go on the left side not on the right sorry when you see a Buddhist structure go on the left side okay. <laughs> now that's what feels to be a tourist I told them the local way of uh, going around the Buddhist structures this is a money wall they said okay and they just kept on walking on the right side the thing is that it's easier for the for the porters if we don't mess around with the way and the directions of walking because it's a very narrow path. So since local people are always using this rule, I gotta admit that it took me time to get used to it. Uh, it's just easier to follow the the locals, you know. Uh, don't don't be too much tourist here. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am slowly entering the village of Langtang. Since the start at uh, Kanjingompa, it's been an hour and 25 minutes. The distance is six kilometers and a half. And uh, I down climbed 500 vertical meters, climbing 85. Now, there is a big herd of donkeys over there so I took alternative route uh, I guess the season is starting because like a lot of traffic traffic going up to Kanjingompa I have to stop every time to give uh, the people there climbing uh, the way to advance first so here I took like alternative route like going around some horses and yaks <laughs> I 
I love yaks. They're so cool. <laughs> now, I might stop here to have a second breakfast because up at Kanjin Gompa I just had like a croissant, plain croissant. And uh, yes, yes. And uh, milk tea. And if I wanna go a long way today down, I'll need more calories than the ones that I got. So I might just stop here for 15 minutes. Quick break at some of the lodges to grab some second breakfast.